some local business chief executive officers are bewailing the inconsistencies in decisions surrounding government's debt exchange program for an IMF deal. According to them, government should broadly consult the business and labor community for a firm stance necessary to largely support the Ghanaian economy. They spoke to Joy Business at the maiden edition of the Magdan Business Forum. The problem I have with all these things is that the government should come out one time after he's done his uh, research with committees and everything and say, this is the way we're going. Not change your position from one day to the other. Because pensioners complain, okay, this one is not part of it. Because this one say, we are looking at it and so Why? Get grace with the full facts and come out and then explain to the people one time, this is why we're doing it. And if you have to even withdraw, come back and say that we had to change because we've realized that so and so, and apologize for it. Because you can't just throw any information to the people. It has to be on sound basis, and you, of course you can make mistakes, but at least come out openly and apologize for it because this is not what I said. Because certain things, we won't go to IMF, then we go to IMF. We won't, we won't do haircut, then we do haircut. Really, that's not the way to respect Ghanaians. We all know what happened at the beginning of the year, our debts went up. Uh, revenue didn't come as much as they thought, uh, new, uh, new taxes that they thought they could roll out didn't happen and therefore, and then we were kicked out of the international market, it became a self-fulfilling prophecy where one thing led to the other, one thing led to the other, and we got to a position we knew at this point we cannot pay. It's going to affect everybody, the country, private sector, public sector, everybody's in it. Um, it has many implications, there's liquidity problems, banks are worried that we may not have liquidity because most banks, if we really, really, really implement it the way they've said, uh, we, we won't have liquidity. So those are part of the engagements we'll be having with the, with the, private, uh, with the regulator and, and central bank about how we manage the liquidity. Because if we don't have liquidity, we can't support the, the private sector. And we think that what we're looking for or what we need as a country is boosting local production, supporting indigenous Ghanaian businesses, particularly in manufacturing. Government must come out boldly support commercial agriculture, support industrialists who want to go into agriculture. What we've seen again in the past uh, few months have been business owners who have decided to go into agriculture and then produce their raw materials so that they will reduce uh, the reliance on raw material importation. Unfortunately, uh, local businesses, especially in the produ productive sector, manufacturing, I mean, depend so much on uh, imports and over, I mean, 90 percent probably of manufacturing businesses in the country import raw materials. And these are some of the challenges affecting our currency, I mean, the stability of our currency.